Calculate the molar solubility of calcium fluoride in a solution containing 0.250 molar calcium nitrate. So what am I looking for the actual solubility of? The calcium fluoride. So this is what I'm actually looking at. So I need to break that down into its ions. So I've got CaF2, and that's going to go to what? That goes to the calcium ion plus two fluoride ions. So I've got that. Now that's my R. So initially, what's my concentration? Well, it says for the calcium, it is 0 0.250. I don't have anything that talks about the fluoride, right? So this is 0. The change is what? Well, this is plus s. Now I've got a 2 in front of this one, so this will be plus 2s. So at equilibrium, I'm going to have 0 0.250 plus s and then plus 2s. Now remember, for KSP, we're only looking at the products. So I'm going to have the first one that's only raised to the first power, but I notice on the second one, remember, there's a 2 in front, so that means I'm going to have to square it. Now this time we're looking for the S, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in, but I need to find the value of KSP, so you'll need to look that up in a table, and it is 1.46 times 10 to the minus 10th. So the concentration of the calcium is 0 0.250 plus s, and then for the f minus I have 2s the quantity squared. Now what we can do, remember, with solubility is kind of the same thing that we did with acids and bases. I can actually approximate this one right here in the front, and that would give me 1.46 times 10 to the minus 10th equals, and I'm going to have 0 0.250 times well, when I square this, I'm going to get 4s squared. So now I just need to solve for s. So I'm going to multiply through, divide, and take the square root. And when I do that, I got 1.1832 times 10 to the minus fifth. Now, how many significant figures do I want? Well, in the original one, there is three. So I look at the eight, look to the right. It is smaller than five, so it's going to be 1.18 times 10 to the minus 5th.